James, I just feel like I'm not getting any better at JavaScript. I'm spending hours and hours and I just don't feel like I'm getting any better. Well, there's one secret I can tell you that will help you. Yes, please, anything. It's really, really simple. And you've definitely heard it before. Oh my gosh, well, okay, what is it? All right, stick around and I'll tell you the number one thing you can do to get better at JavaScript. What's up everyone? My name is James Hugh Quick and I do weekly videos on web development related topics. And one of the questions that I get asked most often is how to get better at JavaScript. People feel stuck. They don't know what to do. They fall into tutorial hell. You've probably been there. I've been there myself where you just don't feel like the things are really clicking for you. And you look at other people that are maybe doing more or maybe doing what you expect for yourself or want for yourself. And you just don't feel like you're there. Well, I'll kind of get rid of the dramatic effect and tell you the number one secret to getting better at JavaScript is simply just to build stuff. It's not a, it's not an actual secret. It's not something that you've probably never heard before. You've almost definitely heard it before, but if you're struggling with getting better with JavaScript, I can almost guarantee you you've heard this advice, but you haven't taken it seriously. So what does actually building something mean? Well, a lot of people struggle with the idea of what do I actually build? Well, the easy answer is anything. And a more elaborate answer is build something that you care about that you want to use because that would make it more fun for you and maybe more practical for you because it's something you can use. But you don't have to limit yourself to that. Just building anything will get you there. Now, I am going to start by plugging something that I have been working on with my podcast co-host, Amy Dutton, which is Advent of JavaScript, which launched yesterday actually i'm a terrible marketer and i'm behind but it's a 24 day series of challenges for you to work through in javascript so you can sign up for free and get a new challenge every day for 24 days and then if you're interested you can pay for the solutions and my videos of showing you how to build those now the thing i would recommend regardless is that you try to go through these challenges yourself by yourself without help except google and try to do that because forcing yourself to learn, forcing yourself to practice is actually the best way to learn. I can't emphasize this enough. You need to throw away all of the life vests, dive right into the JavaScript waters and give it your best shot and get better progressively with every challenge that you do. Now, if you're interested one of the examples of this is uh, we do an, a menu and cart solution here in JavaScript where you can add items, items to the cart increase the items. If you then uh, remove them completely, they go away and you can add multiple items and it updates the subtotal and tax and all that stuff. So it's just, it's, this is not something that actually is going to be used. It's just going through and practicing writing the code. Now I don't want to be too selfish and only plug something that I've done. I want to give you a few extra resources that I think would be really useful. Floor and pop has one of the coolest uh, challenges I think I've ever seen where he did a hundred days and a hundred projects or a hundred projects and a hundred days. This is so cool. He kind of defined his rules for himself and he even has his project list, a random meal generator, a mood calendar, a double noise flow field, whatever that is. I don't know, but here's a hundred app ideas that you could build for yourself right now. So that's a great place to start. Another one that I love is 50 projects for react and the static web from Colby Fayok. And what he does is he just defines 50 different projects that you can build and some requirements and extra challenges that you can add for you to go and build those things yourself for practice. So no longer can you use the excuse of, I don't know what to build. I'm literally giving you uh, 200 project ideas right this second for you to have. There's, I did a quick search in Google for JavaScript project ideas. Here's 10, oh, I guess I won't be doing this without my ad blocker, but 10 JavaScript project ideas for beginners on makeuseof.com. There's 50 JavaScript projects for beginners on free code camp. And then if you look on my YouTube channel, if you want to uh, kind of find out some of the other things that I've done, here's a couple of random ones, build a Pokedex, a search bar, a responsive sidebar menu, um, a random joke generator, web scraping, uh, getting into lazy loading images. All these are just random ideas that I built and then shared on YouTube to get better at JavaScript. This is something that I do constantly and it's literally the number one thing that I do to continue to get better and reinforce the things that I've learned in the past. You have to spend time building stuff. So if you're interested, there's tons of resources. All the links are in the description below, including the advent of JavaScript. This will be around not just in December, it will be around forever so you can sign up at any point for free for the challenges and then you can pay if you're interested for the actual solution code and then 
the videos of me teaching you how to walk through that. If you do pay for the solutions, make sure you give it a shot on your own first. I can't emphasize this enough so that you can throw away, what do we say, the, the life vest and dive straight into the JavaScript water. So this is not really a secret, but it's probably something you've heard before. And if you feel like you're struggling, it's probably something that you haven't taken very seriously. So go and build stuff, do it now, drop everything you're doing, go build stuff, get better at JavaScript. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.